So let's talk about ARC spoofing. To follow along with this activity, you're going to need the ARC packets PCAP file in your resources directory, and you're going to need Wireshark installed. So to recap what ARC is, we've talked about this in a previous lesson. Anytime a device on a network needs to talk to another network, it will send an ARC request to the switch to figure out which MAC address to send that message to so that it gets to the right IP address. The switch sends out an ARC broadcast on behalf of that device asking who has this IP address, tell me your MAC address. The device with that MAC address will respond, that IP address is at X MAC address. Every other device in that network sits quietly. They heard the broadcast, but they have no reason to respond. An ARC poison happens when someone else responds to that message and tries to falsify which MAC address actually has an IP address. If you think about a network like a crowded city, every device, every computer is like a house. It has its own unique address. In a network, this would be an IP address. But if one house wants to communicate with another house in the city, what do they do? They go through a middleman, a mailman. But in a network, we go through a router or a switch, just like the mailman in our city. So to do this, they use that ARC protocol we've talked about. It's like a city's phone book. You can look up who has what address. When the switch doesn't know who has that address, it sends out an ARC request, a broadcast to the entire network to populate that in its phone book, so to speak. Now, a hacker can pose as another house in the city and misdirect that mailman. Simply by convincing the switch or the router that their IP address is someone else's, they can receive data intended for another device, intercepting and potentially altering it. So go ahead, open Wireshark on your computer, and let me show you how to open that PCAP file. And you're going to go to open, and you're going to go to the place where you download it. I just recently opened this, so I can pull it up right here, and I've got the art packets of PCAP. So what do we see? we have a packet capture of network activity. This is a device on the network that is listening to all the network traffic, and this is what it looks like. These are all the packets, being, the individual tiny little packets being sent back and forth on the network. So let's take a little look first at how ARC works. Here we can see a broadcast message. It is an address resolution protocol. You can see the source, MAC address and the destination is all Fs, which is a broadcast that goes to all devices, everyone on the network, and then the appropriate party would respond. So here we can see some ARP activity. The broadcast message says, who has 192.168.47.1? Tell 192.168.47.171. That is the ARP broadcast, the ARP request. The ARP reply, Our reply comes down here in this packet and it says 192.168.47.1 is at, and it gives the MAC address. Something we can do here is we can say arp.opcode and we can filter certain packets. As you can see here, we have a bunch of these other packets. We have DHCP here that we don't really care about, a bunch of responses and going back and forth, but we want to hone in on this ARP poison attack. So I can say ARP dot opcode equals one. And if I hit enter, it's going to apply that filter and it's simply going to give me all of the broadcast request. You see the request here. Who has this IP address? Tell, tell, tell. It looks like this 171 device is probably the switch or the router. Now, what I'm interested in is I'm interested in responses because that's how I'm going to detect an ARC poison attack. So we change this ARC dot opcode to two hit enter, and now we filter, and we're going to look for, and we're gonna look at the responses here. And we can see, we have a response for 47.1, and it gives a MAC address, 0008. Got two, and it gives a MAC address, 02F16. And we have another reply for dot one. This is interesting. 
we've already got dot one being at a certain MAC address and we're getting another dot one being at a MAC address. And this MAC address is different than the first reply. So if we click on that and you come into the ethernet frame and you start looking at these details here, this is all the frame information, then that ethernet packet, the source, the destination, the source is coming from a different source in this message. This came from 008. The second one comes from a B3B1 device. And when you look here, there is a error in this ARC packet. It's saying that a duplicate IP address was detected for 192.168.47.1. Why would there be a duplicate IP address? Because an attacker is trying to spoof that IP address so that they can intercept all of that communication. So this example right here is an ARC poison attack. We see the broadcast go out, who has this device? We see the correct response come back, and then we see the spoof response come back later between packets 22 and between packets 279, where we get this duplicate IP address error. This is an ARC spoof attack. If the switch accepts it, it will overwrite the MAC address inside of its ARC table inside of the switch, and then it will start sending those messages intended for the one device now to the spoof device. So as a security professional, how can you prevent ARC poison attacks from happening? You can create static ARC entries inside of your switches and your routers so that instead of sending out an ARC request, you manually type in all of your MAC addresses and IP addresses for your devices. That can be tedious and time consuming. So there are third party tools and pieces of software that help analyze ARC activity on a network looking for potential ARC spoof responses. And some switches have dynamic ARC inspection, especially the Cisco switches. And the way this works is when they send out an ARC request, the first response gets written to the table. And if any res other responses come for a different MAC address than that first one, it throws an error because it's not the, because it doesn't believe it's the authentic host. It sends an error to the security team and they can investigate. You just performed an investigation of network traffic and found an ARP poison attack. Congratulations.